Now, a small name with huge consequences. The EU introduced the MIFID directive today. New rules to throw open the continent's financial markets. Member states will no longer be able to insist trades be routed through their stock exchange, allowing banks to compete with the bourses. The aim is to make it cheaper and easier for Europeans to put their money into a wider range of investments. So joining us now is Peter Randall. He's the chief executive of GX, which is an alternative trading platform that's just started today. Um, I'd imagine, Peter, that this sort of thing makes the likes of your platform all the more possible. Absolutely, Manisha. Um, we've got 811 million reasons today to be very thankful. We did uh, that volume today in French, German, UK and uh, Dutch shares. On the face of it, some people would say, does it not make it more complicated just because you have so much more choice? But at the same time, is there an argument that it's far more transparent and there's much more accountability? The choice is very important. Uh, as much as uh, the uh, existing exchanges have done a great job thus far, uh, the fact that they have been monopolies for so long uh, in many cases uh, has stifled uh, competition and it's certainly and very importantly uh, stifled innovation. Uh, what MIFID does is uh, allows uh, the innovation uh, that uh, exists in Europe uh, to come to the fore and that helps to provide investors with uh, better prices when trading securities and uh, with lower costs. Indeed lower costs but for you can it be quite a pressure to make sure that you keep those costs down? It's a huge pressure, but uh, one that uh, we uh, battle with manfully. Uh, I think the, the most important thing uh, about the uh, way in which uh, these new platforms, the MTFs, uh, as they're known under the MIFID legislation, are able to compete, is that actually, Manisha, we're able to bring to the European markets new liquidity. Uh, we're attracting people who weren't previously able to get their business done uh, on the likes of the incumbent exchanges because those exchanges were either too expensive or too slow or had limited capacity. Uh, we have uh, a very cheap platform, a very uh, quick platform, and more importantly, a platform with uh, very, very large capacity. Just briefly, um, you bring up a very important point, of course, this one about liquidity, something that a lot of people have had to think about over this last summer with all of this talk of a credit squeeze. Do you think with more platforms such as yours, that is something we won't see in such severity in the future? Uh, I think that uh, liquidity squeezes, uh, liquidity uh, disappearing, uh, that those are features of markets. Uh, but certainly the evidence is that when you bring down uh, the frictional costs of trading, uh, when you reduce the frictional expenses, if you will, uh, that the depth of the platforms increases, and therefore the depth of the markets increases, and as those markets get bigger and deeper, then the uh, likelihood of credit crises and those sorts of things uh, tend to uh, be um, reduced. That's a lovely melody in what's been a rocky summer. Thank you very much, Peter, and Thank congratulations you. on that launch today. Peter Randall there.